The buildings all across L.A. are in danger of collapsing when the big one finally hits. And now we're learning who's going to have to pay to make them safe. It took the L.A. City Council more than a year to settle a very complicated and controversial issue. But today they made the final decision and KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang is live in Sherman Oaks with more. Kimberly. Good evening, and they decided it will be split evenly. Now, we met with a tenants' rights activist here in Sherman Oaks to find out which buildings, what types of buildings, will most likely be affected. As we've seen in the past, a collapse can be deadly. That's a worry. I mean, there's a big one coming, that's what they say. Soft story buildings like this one with carports underneath and concrete buildings at risk of crumbling in an earthquake. And there are thousands across Los Angeles. Experts agree retrofitting is necessary, and after a year-long discussion, LA City Council decided Wednesday who should shoulder the cost. We're going to proceed with a program to retrofit every building in the city, and we're going to do so in a way that the cost is shared. It could cost more than $100,000 to retrofit a wooden building and millions for concrete ones. Now owners will be able to pass half the cost to tenants by raising the rent up to $38 a month over a 10-year period. That's going to be tough on, on people just trying to struggle to get by. Tenants' rights advocate Larry Gross says roughly 170,000 units will be affected. And while he says any increase is a burden for renters, he agrees with city officials that this compromise is better than existing housing laws. The existing law would have allowed landlords to pass on the full cost of the retrofit uh, work to tenants. We are in danger if we have an earthquake of losing all our affordable housing. There's still a long process ahead and could take months to sort out. The Department of Building and Safety is working on a list of thousands of buildings that may need retrofitting. After that, owners will be notified. I think whatever we have to do, you know, because a big one's going to come eventually, and I don't want my house falling down around my ears. Now, Gross told us it's still not clear what type of impact construction work will have on tenants. Some might have to be relocated while work is done. We're live in Sherman Oaks, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. Kimberly, thank you. Two